Well, first, thank you for the intro, for the introduction and invitation to come and talk about our gallery. Um, I'm Phil Ortega, and I, I started the program uh, in 2009 because a couple of kids in our community had committed suicide. And uh, suicide is a, a concern for everyone in our community. Uh, approximately 56 people commit suicide each and every year in our community. Uh, and of those, 15 to 16 youth every single year. So Life Art is a direct kind of strategy to help prevent suicide. We started as a suicide prevention program, but now we've really uh, gotten a little deeper into helping young people deal with the complexities of life of how to handle stress. And we have a little over 200 kids now in the program, and we have a little gallery in downtown Medford. Visitors to that gallery are likely to be struck by the quality and intensity of the art there. Let's experience a sample of that art. That power doesn't need words, but words also have their place at Life Art Gallery. There's also poetry, um, and uh, we're inspired too by the poetry, which is kind of poetry is uh, a, a form of word art, let's call it. Uh, as long as we're talking about that, maybe we should uh, step here to the left and hear this beautiful performed poem by Monique Ortega. I am from. Yes, thank you. Um, I tend to do poetry to express myself within words, and I think people listen um, if it's done in a respectful, convey, conveyed matter. So, um, yeah, this is my poem called I Am From. I am from the little boys and girls who stained my face with tears of confusion. Confusion of why it was such a bad thing to have a darker tone of skin than they had. I know of the late nights receiving texts from friends telling me that they cannot do this anymore. I am from the society known for war, the planet that idolizes consumption over creation, from the generation known for an increasing fear of the outside world. Though, I am also from the mindset of personal growth and being able to conquer and overcome the burden left from the previous generation. I am from the political world of political correctness and the marginalizing of minority groups. I am from the never-ending, everlasting love of family that values dinner spent together at the table. I am from the implementation of innovative programs that promote higher education and self-expression. I am from the word chivalry that seems to be absent in the dictionary of today's youth. I am from the prolonged days of the unknowing of what is to come I am from loss, gain, and success. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. Yeah, very, nice. very, very good. While the work of these young artists can be seen by the public, director Phil Ortega explains the importance of this space as a studio. There's a power in the gallery uh, that you get when you enter the gallery and then stay there and just take it in. You got a comment about that? I think it really comes down to providing safe spaces for people to be real, be themselves. Uh, there's no such censor censorship at Life Art. And we call it the Life Art um, Gallery, but it's more of a studio. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. we, we, show, we show the art on third Friday of every single month. And Adrian manages all those shows, right? So Adrian and Caroline, our staff, they do such a phenomenal job. But the studio, let's talk about the studio for a few minutes. The studio is a place that young people who understand what life art stands for, understand our values, respect our values, they get their own key. So these young people get their own key. Mm. Wow, and okay. they can come to the gallery 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Wow, okay. Now, we're only open to the general public right, on yeah. Fridays and Saturdays. And we have a once a month art show. Yeah. But the rest of the time is catered for their use. It's yeah. their space. It's yeah. their space. Yeah. And there's and that uh, is like a serious expression of trust at your end to be able to give these these teens that access in that way. Sure. And in, in nine years, I've never once had a problem with the youth. 
Yeah. Now you think about that, right? I think that yeah. comes down to expressing clear expectations for young people, but also holding them accountable yes. with high support. Like mm-hmm. there's no, I don't ask Adrian to do something that I'm not willing to do myself. <laughs> now, to be quite honest, it hasn't always been easy, <laughs> but I'm working with young people, yes, right? right? And so I, I have a level of expectations, but I also have some patience. And I've been really proud to see them really develop into these fantastic community members that are now guiding discussions. Now, Adrian sits on the Medford Arts Commission. Well, He's a voting right member. Yeah. When okay. he was in high school. Well, you were in high school, right? I was, yeah, I think I was entering my junior year. And yeah. I, I ended up signing up for that. And yeah. uh, over time, they, they switched me from the youth position over to an actual commissioner position. Kids want to do well. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I strongly believe kids want to do well. Now, how can we support them? Give them a free space where they can be themselves and feel comfortable, and they will surprise you. 